Hello and Assalamu alaikum. I'm going to show here the uh, alternative way of uh, bringing in data into um, a new ERP. And uh, in this example, I want to um, import in some uh, new products from a legacy system. And uh, it can be in the form of a spreadsheet, usually in a CSV uh, file. Here I have, let me enlarge that. So um, here are the uh, pr uh, property of the product uh, table, such as value, name, um, unit of measure, its category and its tax category. In this case, we have salt, rice and sugar. They all measure in kilogram and they are all standard categories. So usually, when you import um, data in, you would um, use what we call an um, import uh, loader, okay. such as uh, this, or um, using um, er, like in this case, standard uh, workout um, formats, models, and code to do it. But now with the uh, Ninja Magic plugin, um, you can integrate Legacy into ERP instantly and is shown in my forum and in the previous movie. But in this present one, I'm going to show you how to import those data rather quickly, directly, using the Radio Ninja. First, create a new uh, something to say um, migrate products. Uh, this is just a header. Uh, the real work comes from the model maker. Simply put down the name of the table. So in this case, this is a core legacy table, which is M underscore product. And then all you have to do it says attach the CSV of your new product information and you don't have to set the um, table properties in the column set all you have to do is just run generate model okay just press this for some minutes. What the system will do is that um, here's me doing it through the code. What the system will do is to bypass all right it's been done to identify that this is a, a core product and therefore you need not um, create the table again but append to the present core product table so let's look for if and it would do so in the um, here you are salt rice and uh, sugar yes sugar here so it will append to your present table without recreating again and it's really really very fast and you can again uh, try to put in the more information let's say I want to put in the um, flour Fine. let's just try that and get back here go back to your uh, import a message and uh, reactivate this. You see that this column set is automatically created for you. So leave them alone, but just reattach your CSV again. So in this case, you can have a very long list of data and just attach them, go to your header, and just run this process and forget it. It will be inside your database okay so if you were to look for flaw there you are it's in 
and you can also import straight away uh, methods like pricing just ensure that you have is parent um, or mandatory um, properties spell out all right if this is a new category let's say this is a, um, a brand that you have to create a new model and product category CSV and put in brand brand for value and name so that its dependency is created. Well then, that's all from me, demonstrating the fastest migration to ERP based on Idempia using the Ninja plugin. Enjoy.